presented by That Wolf from High Roll Productions. Okay, we are live. Welcome back to Nessiversary, and I'm playing Donkey Kong. It's been a while since I have last made a video, but um, that is to the delay of um, me selecting some new uh, video recording software. And it's called the OBS Recorder, and I guess it records pretty much everything. I'm still trying to figure out how it works. And uh, this video is a not only the first time I'm playing this game in quite a long time, but it's also a test. So um, if this records well, then um, this will now become my new video recording software, and I hope it records pretty well. I mean, it rec I mean, I did a test recording earlier, and it did my it recorded my voice pretty well, but I don't know how well it recorded gameplay footage because again, I'm trying I'm still trying to figure out how this works. So uh, let's play some Donkey Kong. And um, this is a viewer request. I was uh, dang it, I just I just got knocked on the head with a barrel. This is a viewer request I got from somebody who wanted me to play Donkey Kong, and I thought that was a great idea. So he suggested this to me, and uh, to you who are you the those of you who are watching, you know, and uh, especially to the requester, you know who you are. So I thank you for the suggestion, and. Um, this is actually a two-parter, so uh, this will be this one, and then uh, next time I will play Donkey Kong Jr., which I should probably have said at the end of the video, but you know, whatever. So, um, instead of the usual three continue format, I'm just going to do simply one extra continue. So as soon as all my lives are depleted down, I'll do one more continue, and then I shall conclude this video. So, um, yeah, playing Donkey Kong, we're going up ladders and... Smashing barrels and hopefully knocking that donkey, donkey, or knocking that gorilla on his head. And it's interesting to note that in this game, Mario is not a plumber, but he's actually a carpenter. Yeah, which is interesting because everybody knows knows him as Mario Brothers and the Mario Brother, or Mario, Mario, Mario Plumber. Yeah, that kind of rolls off right off your mouth, right off your tongue, doesn't it? So yeah, he was a carpenter. You know. It's kind of funny, a lot of people in history were carpenters. Like a uh, certain religious figure that uh, I'm, I don't want to offend everybody, but I'm sure I'm pretty sure we all know who it is. So, uh, yeah, let's try and knock this gorilla on his head. Yay! Finally beat the level. After, like, two tries. And then it turns to this craziness. So we got... Umbrellas, handbags, and bouncing springs. Oh, and fireballs that are sentient and try to kill you. Let's just beat this as quickly as possible. Ah! And there's a continue. Okay, let's try one more time. So basically, these are the first games that Nintendo made that launched them into the successful gaming industry, especially with this was their breakout hit, and everybody loved it, and this is where Mario came from, and it's a great part of gaming history. In fact, the game is almost 30 years old. Actually, it is 30 years old because I think 2011 would have been its 30th, 30th anniversary, so the characters of Mario and Donkey Kong, respectively, are well over 30 years old and uh, hopefully they'll have a lot more a lot more years of success in their future I mean with the way Nintendo's going now I'm sure everything will pan out successfully and especially with the new Star Fox game on the horizon and among with the other every, a whole lot of other classics that are returning in the library that I'm excited to see and uh, I can't wait for them to make a new F-Zero game personally But I'm getting off track. I'm sure, I'm sure things will come in their due time. I mean, they've been dropping hints that there's going to be a new F-Zero game. I mean, they put like the Blue Falcon in Mario Kart Wii. Ugh! Crap. Yeah, they put the the Blue Falcon in Mario Kart Wii as an unlockable cart, which is interesting. And I'm pretty sure there was an F-Zero track in uh, Mario Kart Wii U, or Mario Kart 8, as I guess everyone's calling it. Go away, Fireball! Whoa, I guess I jumped too, uh, too late, or too early there, and he, he, he fell by dying. 
This is the only game, ladies and gentlemen, that you could play as Mario and fall while and uh, die while falling just like that. But that makes more sense because I fell from a great height. <laughs> oh, interesting. Alrighty, so that concludes it for today. And um, the next time I come back at you will be PSI Let's Play episode 30, probably by myself because again I'm still tweaking this and trying to figure out the optimum settings. And, um, yeah, well, uh, this has been, uh, Nessiversary, and, uh, in the next couple weeks, I will be starting sh September Shitfest, which, uh, those of you who've been paying attention will be the month that I will be strictly playing all of the turds in the NES library, and, um, I will most, un most regrettably be hopefully not enjoying any of those, so, um, yeah, I guess I will see how that goes in the next few days. Alrighty, so uh, this has been 30th anniversary, and uh, next time we will see this game being played. Alrighty, have a nice night, guys, and uh, this has been That Wolf from Hyrule, signing off.